Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to show you how to make popcorn just using this electric popcorn maker. And this is a very easy and safe uh, popcorn to make for your kids. I don't like giving my kids stuff out of the microwave. And the thing that's pretty cool about this is before we turn it on, we're going to go ahead and add our butter to the top. You're welcome to use some good quality olive oil instead, which I sometimes use. But today we're going to be using butter. I keep my butter fresh around the house using this little butter keeper. And the butter keeper keeps the butter nice and soft, so I'm actually able to scoop some up just like that. I put it in the top of the lid. So one thing I like to do before I put my popcorn in the popcorn maker here is to go ahead and melt the butter. What I like to do is add uh, about half a cup of corn kernels. Now that we got our corn in, All right, so now you gotta be a little careful when you touch the lid of that, because that lid's gonna be a little hot. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my butter here. My butter's nice and melted. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour it on. And this is gonna be some amazing popcorn. And it's all, uh, homemade and you can in pronounce all the ingredients his names butter salt and corn put some salt on it or whatever seasoning you have they make some pretty cool seasonings in the stores now I still like salt and we're gonna go ahead and start tossing it Go ahead and put in the last bit of the butter you have. And you're welcome to go ahead and put as much butter as you like in this recipe. And we have some hungry bystanders. I want to try some. Mmm. Look at each kernel, it's perfectly popped. And there's only two kernels that didn't pop. And this is kind of a dummy's guide to making popcorn. You can't get this wrong, you can't burn it. So a pretty great machine to have around the house. I'll have a link to it in the description below. Alexa, is popcorn healthy? While healthiness depends on personal health considerations, one cup of oil pop popcorn has 4% of the FDA's daily recommended intake of saturated fat and 3% of the daily recommended intake of sodium. But, it also has 1.1 grams of mononsaturated fat and 3% of the daily recommended intake of dietary fiber. So, we got the popcorn in the bowls here and ready for the kids now. Hey, everybody! Hey, buddy! Let me know if you guys have any comments. Hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.